boring. I don't know. Let's just enjoy nature for once, Toy Freddy. It's nice outside. No, if I can't have soap cutting or subway surfers in my peripheral, then I don't want to live anymore. Ugh, jeez. Talk about a short attention span. Who the hell are you again? I'm Balloon Boy! You're not ringing a bell for me, bud. <laughs> Screw you guys! Mm, this is entertaining. Fight, 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 fight. Ugh, I'm not about to beat up a child. Is that a butterfly? I'm gonna go chase the butterfly! <laughs> Classic Toy Freddy. Anybody hear that? Yeah, it kind of sounds like a helicopter. Look up there! Alright, Bounty, we're gonna jump on three! Ah! Uh, okay, one, two, three! <laughs> gotcha! <sighs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Spring Bonnie. Don't mention it, sister. Whoa, what an entrance, you two. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Good thing there was no collateral damage or anything. A little collateral damage. <sighs> Thanks, guys. So, what were you two doing? Yeah, that was a pretty big stunt to pull. Ooh, I'm glad you asked. Oh, can I pull you down? Uh, well, it's up to you, really. Ow. Okay. <sighs> we just got back from one of our greatest expeditions yet. Yeah, it's one of the most famous artifacts recorded in ancient history. I've always been about the mystical artifacts more than the ancient spells and rituals, so... A lot of the stuff in Springtrap's book has been really cool to find. I gotta be careful here. So, what's in the bag? Well, has anyone here heard the tale of King Midas? King Midas? What's that? How have you never heard of King Midas? Yeah, I've never heard of this either. <sighs> King Midas is a man that wished that anything he could touch would turn to gold. Ooh, that sounds kinda nice. That's what he thought too. Until he realized that literally anything he touched would turn to gold, including people and food and he couldn't eat. It ended up being more of a curse than a blessing. Wow, anything he wants into gold? Ugh, I see what BB took away from the story. Anyway, so what's so important about bringing this up? Well, it was told in ancient books that not all his body parts had been lost. Wait a minute. Everyone, this is incredibly dangerous, so be very, very careful. This is the hand of King Midas. Whoa! Wait, shouldn't it be like turning the cloth into gold? That's the thing. The ancients wove this fabric just so it could specifically dodge its golden touch. The fibers are connected so loosely that they can't actually be touched by the gold. So they managed to protect it. Why didn't he just wear gloves made out of that fabric? Well, it was over his entire body, so yeah. I want to know who cut off his hand. Hmm, guess we'll never know. So what are you two gonna do with it? I'm sure it's worth a lot of money. I don't know, think of making it a keepsake or putting it in a museum. That'd be really cool. Do people get credits for finding ancient artifacts? Guys, guys, look, I caught the butterfly! That's great, Toy Freddy. Now shut up, you adults are talking! Well, screw you, BB. Go home, go home little butterfly. <laughs> shut up. Oh, it's a shiny thing! Can I touch it? Wait, Toy Freddy, don't! <laughs> 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 Oh, shit! Toy Freddy! Toy Freddy, oh my god! Speak to me, Toy Freddy! Ah! It's our worst nightmare! The thing that we roared is really dangerous, affected somebody negatively! Somebody help me lift him up! Hang on, I got it! Uh. Oh my god! Well, at least we know it works! I didn't want to find out if it worked! Oh no, no, no! Well, I guess it's his funeral. He'll be buried the richest man on earth. I really doubt it, actually. What are we gonna do? We gotta change it back! You guys can change it back, right? Uh, yeah, right, we can totally do that. Spring Body, what the f do we do? Okay, now hang on, hang on. Uh, there was a couple footnotes on the page with King Midas's hand. Uh, give me a second. Uh, here we go. The only way that is known to currently cure the curse of King Midas's touch is to create a magical antidote with these five enchanted ingredients. Hmm. We might have that stuff, right? Um, I think so? Okay, well, what are we waiting for? Let's just, like, get to making some magical potions so Toy Freddy's not made of solid gold! <laughs> Ow! My foot! What the- Why did I kick it? Uh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> this might take a couple people. Uh, two of you follow me and Vanny to our kitchen. The other two watch Toy Freddy, and we'll be back as soon as we can! Oh, wait, actually, we should probably take this with us. We do need one of the- we do actually need this. Uh, come on, Toy Bounty, you're coming with me! Oh, wait, guys! <sighs> Hi, 
Tour Chica. Bring the head back! All right, so step one, everything must be mixed inside of a goofy goblin goblet. Man, try saying that five times fast. Goofy gobbly goblet, goofy gobble. <laughs> Ew, what the hell, man? Sorry, I had a hairball. Hmm, Fanny, do we have a goofy goblin goblet? One goofy goblin goblet coming right up. Voila. That just looks more like a wine glass to me. Start with a base of around two cups of water from the Fountain of Youth? Uh, safe to say, I don't think we've ever found the Fountain of Youth before. Neither have I. Hmm, there's gotta be a good substitute for Fountain of Youth water, right? Huh. What is it? Well, it says here that... Apparently, a best substitute for Fountain of Youth water is tap water? You know, honestly, with all the microplastics and other chemicals inside the water, I'm not really surprised. My dermatologist says it's actually a good substitute for acne cream, though I haven't tested that theory yet. There. Hmm, now it says we need three gold doubloons. Should ask Shamrock Freddy for that one. Hang on a second, I learned this trick back in high school. Whoop! What? Hey, how'd you do that? The magician never reveals her secrets. Yeah, I don't like that. Hang on, allow me. <laughs> there you go. I keep a lot of stuff up there. Okay, then. After this step, stir for two minutes thoroughly. Oh, let me, I love stirring. <laughs> He's enjoying this too much. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking about, BB? Well, I've got an idea. What's your idea? Since it's taken forever for those guys to get back, I think we should treat ourselves. How so? Well, considering Toy Freddy's now made of sand. <laughs> okay, I tried lifting it up for dramatic effect, and that did not work. Considering Toy Freddy's now made of solid gold, uh, you want to make some money? What? Bibi, how do you plan on making money off of Toy Freddy? Why don't we pawn him off? Pawn him off? But, Bibi, he's our friend. We can't do that to him. Oh, come on, Toy Chica. What's Toy Freddy ever done for us? I don't know, care about us, show us his love and affection? Nobody ever showed affection to me. Well, that's because everybody hates you, but that's besides the point. What are we going to do when they get back? We won't be here. We'll make our money from this guy, and then we'll hightail to the hills. First step in luxury. I'm gonna buy a big house and a big car and a big girlfriend. I don't think you can buy girlfriends, BB. If you got enough money, you can. Look, we're not pawning off Toy Freddy. Besides, he's our friend. We can't do that to him. <sighs> Wait, I got it. I got an idea. BB, I swear to God. Hear me out on this one. We'll get both things that we want. I'm listening. We can go pawn off Toy Freddy, and then when they get back with the antidote, we just go to the pawn shop and then give him the antidote, and then we'll have Toy Freddy back. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, we'll have both Toy Freddy and the money! But what if the guys at the pawn shop want their money back? After all, now they don't have their big gold teddy bear. Well, they do have a no return policy sign on the door. I don't think that works both ways. Yeah, it does! Well, then what if they just keep Toy Freddy? He can run! He's got legs! Besides, it's legal to own another human being, I think. Are you just talking about buying a girlfriend? Ugh, are you in or not? <sighs> well, I guess I would like to become filthy stinking rich. Get that hair transplant I've always wanted. <sighs> ah, ding beetle on a stick. Let's do it. <laughs> You've made a good business partner, Miss Torchica. Do I have to touch your hand? It's part of the handshake! <sighs> I never want to do this again. Let me go get the rope! <sighs> there! Now we can drag him there! <sighs> okay, okay, you're gonna give yourself a hernia move. What are you gonna do about it with your girl limbs? Watch and learn, Balloon Brain. Yeah! Alright, let's go! Oh, I can't ever win. Ugh, okay. I think it's all stirred up. Alright, next ingredient is a rat skull. Ooh, I'm gonna go get one for my collection. Sorry, Mr. Chatta. You're going to good use, buddy. Slam dunk! 
Ah, pfft, I got some tap water on me. Rub it into your pores. I want to see if it works. Acne cream's expensive. All right, one last ingredient. A liter of human blood. Well, I'm a robot. <sighs> Shoot, none of us are humans. What are we going to do? Why are you all staring at me? Um, Vanny, how would you like to give us a liter of your blood so we can bring Toy Freddy back? A liter? I can't even count that high. Guys, I really hate to admit it, but I never passed sixth grade math. Listen, it's fine. You'll be fine. She'll be fine? I'm not a doctor. I wouldn't know. Even if we did ask a doctor, I don't think any of them would have any cases on humans. Hmm. Vanny, please do it for me. And for Toy Freddy too, I guess. Okay, if it's her friend in need. And I'd do anything for you, Spring Bonnie. Well, guys, wish me luck! Whoa. Whoa. Dad, is that you? Leaking cranberry juice out your arm, honey? You're not my dad. Uh, is this normal? I don't think so. Whoa, my head's spinning! Are you okay? Fanny? Oh, uh, what happened? Well, the good news is you got a liter of blood in the cup. But the bad news is I think you got more than a liter of blood on the table. Ah! Uh, what do we do? I'm stressed out and I feel really lightheaded. Uh, would getting you a cookie and a band-aid feel better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, okay. I got all the blood off the table. This is just like getting your blood drawn at the doctor's. I don't think that's true, hon. Oh, I almost forgot. Kiss to make it feel better. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Ugh, would you two get a room? A room? What room? Rubber room. Rubber room with rats. The rats make me crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, I think the concoction is almost done. Ooh, okay, it says a big dust cloud of powder is gonna come up from the goblet when it's done. Oh, really? <laughs> It did. Oh yeah, one last thing. We have to have a shaving from the, you know, source, the patient zero, aka the hand. Whew, okay, I have to do this very carefully. Whoa, cool. <sighs> Alright, that should be it. Now we just have to let Toy Freddy drink this. Uh, he's made of gold. How are you supposed to drink it? We're gonna dump it on Toy Freddy's head. Oh, let's go! All right, I'm gonna be careful with this because this has a lot of red food coloring in it, and if it splashes on any of us, we're gonna be ruined. Oh, welcome to my pawn shop. How are you two doing today? Hi there, sir! <coughs> oh, it gets tired on an old girl's arms. That was my workout for the day. You work out? And you don't? Touche. Goodness gracious, what is this that you two are bringing in here? Uh, you give him the rundown. You see here, sir, this is a giant golden FFG of our great, 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 great grandfather that lived in ancient Egypt. It's been passed down to us as a family heirloom, and we're finally ready to make a rightful home for it. So you guys, for a buttload of cash. Wow, that is a giant golden statue of a bear. Hmm, I have to ask, how are you three related? You know, I'm yellow, and... <laughs> Nemgen genetics get weird when you get to his side of the family. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Well, we do love to be fair to our customers, so uh, let me just take a look. <laughs> Good God, he's heavy! <laughs> okay, let me get a couple measurements real quick. So, uh, come here often? I came here with you. Okay, so I detected he is actually made of solid gold. Impressive, impressive. And judging by his weight and his diameter and uh, his general volume, I would say this comes out to about, hmm, well, I would name a price, but I gotta think about this. I would still make a profit off all this gold. Hmm, how would you folks say to three million dollars? Three million dollars? Oh, yes, sir, yes, yes, we'll take three million dollars. Oh, my God. We're rich, baby. We're filthy, stinking rich. Oh, I can't believe I just hold you. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, my stars. So much money. 1.5 million for each of us. Uh, I was thinking more two mil for me and one mil for you, since, you know, I came up with all the ideas. Half and half. Oh, 
fine. All right, let me get my money for you. Here's all cash, since I have that lying around. Don't tell my lawyers. Have a nice day, you two. Oh, God. It was a pleasure, sir. Let's go, BB. Okay, time to melt this puppy down and sell it off by the pound. Did he just say... Melt it down? Mm. All right, guys, we got the goblet with this convenient table so it doesn't spill over our damn carpet. Uh, now, where did, what, where did they go? I don't know. Weren't they just here? How the hell did they move Golden Toy Freddy? It's probably Toy Chica. She lifts, like, a lot. <sighs> Somebody on the internet's really gonna like that. Did you guys hear that, like, gobbling and gabbling and screaming? <laughs> Guys, we messed up real bad! What did you guys do? Yeah. Uh, well, you see, uh, well, we kind of figured, you know, you guys would be back with the antidote, and Toy Freddy be worth a lot of money. You guys sold Toy Freddy? Uh, he made me do it! What? What? I, uh, oh, yeah, I did make her do it. Yeah, and we got, like, three million dollars off of it, but I'm scared, because the guy said he's gonna melt him down, and I don't know what to do! Why don't you guys just give him the money back and take Toy Freddy? I didn't think of that. Let's get the hell back to that pawn store and pour this concoction on Toy Freddy before he becomes liquid soup! Ah! Get the money! Wait for me! Oh, shit. Um, we're gonna pretend I'm running as fast as I can. I really don't want to spill this all over my carpet. All right, golden, gorgeous, great grandpa, get ready to get lowered in the bucket, where you will be melted down and sold off by the pound. You ain't gonna be so stinky, filth, and rich. I told him, gave him $3 million when he's actually worth $5 million. <laughs> Time to start lowering him down. Stop! Oh, how did you get in here? Don't melt him. He's our friend. He's a real living person that got turned into gold. <laughs> did you just teleport? Uh, yeah. How the hell did you guys get back here? It was unlocked, we just kind of walked in. Oh, well, uh, it doesn't matter. You obviously saw the no return policy sign on the door. Wait, but but I thought that worked both ways. It doesn't. Shit! Well, uh, we still got the money. You can have the money back. Baby, give him the money. BB? Fine! Here's the three million dollars. Oh, well, thank you. I'll just take that back from... Do you not know how handing something to someone works? You're supposed to let go of it. I don't want to! <laughs> well, thank you for my three million dollars back, but none of that matters anyway! Say what? This man is approximately worth five million dollars in good money, and I'm not gonna give that up! But, but you've got the three million dollars right there! I wanted five million, that's the point! I ripped you off! You think pawn shops would make any money if they just gave people equal value to what they had? Wait, what? Give us our friend back! No! You better do it or I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm still losing blood. No. -uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, sorry. What I miss? Big money. <laughs> Mel Toy Freddy. Ah, wait, did we give him the money back? It didn't work. He said he's not gonna give up an opportunity like this. Ugh. Do I have to do everything myself around here? What the hell is that? Oh, it's a uh, uh, a new cocktail. You want to drink it? Made it myself. So it's to be one of the strongest, most relaxing cocktails you ever drank. Hmm. Well, I w I am quite thirsty, and I would love a glass of Victory Juice. Yeah, one of the richest, uh, you know, most expensive co cocktails in the world. Ah. Hmm. It's pretty good. It's fruity. It's. Like <coughs> 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 Is that gonna happen to- No, that won't happen to Toy Freddy. Since he didn't have a curse placed on him, it actually, uh, you know, uh, nullified the, the drink, and, uh, you know, now his soul's been dragged to hell, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's put this to Toy Freddy. Yeah, somebody get him down. Whew, all right. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god, he's heavy! Don't worry, ma'am. I'll do the honors. <clears throat> so, uh, <clears throat> what do you want me to do with him? Just, uh, dunk his hat in there, and it should affect his whole body. Alrighty! Hey, Toy Chica. Hi, Toy Freddy. Oh, you're back. I was so worried. Oh, I don't know what you were worried for. I just took a big nap. That was the weirdest dream. Where the hell are we? 
Oh, thank God. Toy Freddy's okay. Oh, we saved Toy Freddy. <laughs> thank you guys for your help. Well, we kind of got him into the mess, so... Eh, I figured we kind of owed it. <laughs> Ugh, note to self, never touch weird hands ever again without asking what they're for. Hey, what's BB doing? Huh? Get out of the way, stupid dead guy! <laughs> I'm rich! I'm rich! That's so much money! <laughs> It's all mine! And none of you are getting any of it! You hear me? All mine! Mine, mine, mine! mine. Ah! 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 Do you guys think you should? No. I think you've done this one. Yeah.